32 weeks and three days. Um, and I may or may not be having baby. I may be having baby um, before this weekend is out. Um, I went to, I turned 32 weeks this Sunday, this past Sunday. And I went to do a 3D ultrasound at. Uh, local place in my area it's called hello baby and they were awesome they were great um the tech did my ultrasound and she asked me how many weeks i was i told her 32 so as she's um taking his measurements and trying to find his you know face and everything she did a 2d ultrasound first and her machine was picking up measurements of 28 weeks. Uh, so she said, you know, did they, you know, did their doctor's office, um, did they go based off of your last menstrual cycle or did they go based off measurements? Um, and I told her that they were, they went off of measurements. So, um, pretty much she said that baby was measuring small. Um, she said that his fluids were good, his heartbeat was strong, he was moving, he was being active, so she didn't see any need for concern, um, but she did tell me that I should run it by my doctors, you know, just make him aware um, that it seems like he was reading 28 weeks. Um, so, I ended up calling my doctor. That was like on a Saturday, so I called my doctor's office on Monday which they were closed due to the weather. We asked for the on-call physician. They had an answering service that was, you know, 24 seven. So the answering service, um, basically they patched me through to my actual doctor. They patched me through to his cell phone and I was able to speak with him, which I love, like I love my doctor, like he's great. Um, and I was able to talk to him and I told him my concerns. Um, and he basically stated that he told me to call into the office the very next day to schedule an ultrasound for that Wednesday. Um, their ultrasound tech only comes in on every Wednesday. So he told me to schedule an appointment for Wednesday for an ultrasound. And yeah, so the next day basically, um, I didn't even I didn't even have to call them. They called me and they scheduled me an appointment for uh, an ultrasound the following day. So I went to my ultrasound and the tech said that he was really active. He was moving. His heart rate was fine. He had enough fluid, but he was measuring small, like the tech said at the three D ultrasound place. He was measuring actually two weeks behind the size that he's supposed to be um so basically my doctor came in and explained to me that um my baby basically he wasn't growing as he's supposed to so he stated that it could be due to either high blood pressure which i didn't have because they tested for that of course um and then he said another reason could be that my placenta was just given out um, so he got me over to the labor and delivery um, at the hospital. He told me to go over right away. So they put monitors on me. So you can't see them through my dress, but I have monitors on me. They're monitoring him. They're mo monitoring his activity and his heart rate to make sure he's not going into distress. And they gave me, um, they gave me a shot. Um, of this medication that will help his lungs to be stronger. Um, it's kind of like a steroid shot. Um, so I got that tonight and then tomorrow in 24 hours I will have to get another one. So I will be here for a few days. 
um, and he's telling me that it's very possible that uh, baby's going to be here early. So, um, just praying, you know, trying to keep a positive mindset. I know that everything's going to be okay. I have faith that everything will be okay. Baby is doing fine. He's looking great right now. Um, so, yeah, I'm just praying that everything goes well. And I'm just kind of here hanging around. And it's basically a waiting game right now. But I will keep you guys updated on what's going on. Um, so, just stay tuned, guys. Hey, y'all. So, it's like 2.51 in the morning. I'm not crying, y'all. I got, like, my eyes get watery at night. It's crazy. But, anyways. Um, it's 2.51 at night. In the morning. And I can't sleep. I've had about an hour of sleep. Um, I fell asleep around 12 something. I woke up around like 1.56. Um, because the nurse had to come in and have me to turn on my other side. Because she said baby wasn't liking the way that I was laying. So they are monitoring him. He's really active right now. He's moving around. Um, I get to hear his little heartbeat, so that gives me comf comfort. Um, but yeah, y'all, I'm sorry. I look like a monster. <laughs> My face swell up so much, like, everything is swollen. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the update. He's doing okay. Um, they said his heartbeat was dipping a little, meaning like with movement certain ways that I lay um his heartbeat was like fluctuating but it's still really strong um I've been having to get up to pee a lot because they have me on fluids they have me on an IV and um it's so annoying when I have to use the restroom because um I hope y'all can hear me because I'm trying not to talk loud but I have to unhook like everything that I'm hooked up to just to go to the restroom and I thought I couldn't sleep at home <laughs> you know I was complaining about being uncomfortable with sleeping and now it's kind of making me appreciate the sleeping arrangements a little more I don't know if y'all can hear that but that's his heartbeat in the background my baby is he's moving around a lot like I don't know if he can get comfortable or I don't know. He's moving a lot. It's like he's letting me know that he's okay. I'm going off an hour of sleep and no food because they won't let me eat. The only thing I was able to do was drink cranberry juice. They brought me a cranberry juice and that was to kind of wake him up a little bit. But other than that, yeah, I can't eat and I'm starving and that's probably the reason why I can't really sleep so yeah that's just to update you guys I'm gonna try to get some more rest I'm trying to get as much rest as possible stay tuned guys so I am back with an update it is the next day it is around 10 o'clock in the morning um they allowed me to go on a clear diet which means I can only have broth Jello, um, apple juice, ice chips. They told me that I could have Gatorade. Pretty much, baby is delivered tomorrow. Now he's so he's so small that he won't um, a vaginal birth will put too much stress on him. So it will have to be a C-section. Um, Currently, they are monitoring his heart rate, monitoring his activity. He did pretty good last night. As I stated before, there was a few dips in his heart rate. So, they are still keeping me monitored on that. Um, I get the next dose of the steroid to help strengthen his lungs around 6 o'clock today. So, 
that is what we're waiting on pretty much he wants me to um he pretty much wanted me to do two days of that medication to strengthen his lungs before he delivers him but he pretty much stated that i will not be leaving the hospital until my baby is delivered so he is coming y'all he will be he obviously will have to go into the NICU because he'll be so small just pray that all goes well that he's healthy um and that he is stable when he comes out um but that's all in god's hands if you're going through a situation like this ladies just try not to stress because first of all you don't want to put stress on your baby you don't want to put stress on your body on yourself on your mind pray uh, talk to family members about it. Have them pray on your behalf. Prayer works. They, they were more than two gather. The Lord begins to work. So definitely call your, call up your prayer warriors and I'll pray about it. And just keep a positive mindset. Have faith that God is going to see you through. Because that is what is getting me through this situation. Um, I just know that everything's going to be okay. Like, I just know that everything's going to be okay. God promised me this child uh, has a let say on everything. He didn't say when he would be delivered, but he did promise that he will be delivered and that he will be here. So, um, just keeping a positive mindset. Um, his father just came. Well, he left out to get him some food. Um, and he's going to come back. He got me this blanket, blanket and the nurse got me some extra pillows. So I am a lot more comfortable than I was. Um, kind of got to lay to one side um, for baby's heart rate and activity to be monitored well. So I kind of had to kind of lay in like one position. We're going to see if they let me take a shower. I mean, I've been here since yesterday and I will be here for you know, a while, and I would love to take a shower before my C-section, so, um, I'm gonna ask them if I could take a bath, and I'm gonna have dad run out and get me some things, because I was not prepared for this, of course, nobody prepares for this, I was preparing for my due date, which is 11-27, November the 27th, so, he is about a month early um my doctor is speaking with high risk professionals just to get feedback from them my doctor is really good i love him he's gonna reach out to all of his resources he's gonna make sure that he is <sighs> my machine is making noise which means the nurse is probably about to come in but um so currently what he wants to see is if I need to deliver, if I can deliver here, which the hospital that I'm in, they have a great NICU um, unit. Um, they have a pediatrician here. They have everything that he needs. They have everything equipped for 32 weeks of pregnancy. And today I am 32 weeks and five days. I'll be 33 weeks. I would have been 33 weeks Sunday. So... They do have the equipment. They are equipped to take care of him. Uh, but he do want to make sure, just want to make sure that he's going to, baby's going to have everything he needs here. Plus, he doesn't want to risk a transfer, having to transfer him to uh, CHKD if anything pursues or, you know, if he needs further actions. Um, he doesn't want to risk transferring him over there because um, they're unable to monitor him to him on the ambulance during the transfer so what he is thinking about doing is having me delivered at a hospital near that's right next to the chkd so if baby do have to go there he'll be right next door um but right now he says we're not there he doesn't think he thinks that the baby will be fine here being that he's i am 32 weeks along and their unit is great. Um, their NICU unit is great. So we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated and waiting for 
um, his dad to get back in. He's gonna lay in the bed with me after he eats, um, so that I could try to get some sleep. And um, yeah, I've been napping on and off, trying to get as much rest as possible, y'all. But I will keep you updated. Stay tuned, guys. Hey, you guys. So I'm back with an update. Say hey, Daddy. <laughs> so, we've been pretty much just waiting around. And um, they're still monitoring him. So, the scheduled uh, C-section that he was going to do tomorrow, um, he reached out to, like, a fetal, a medicinal fetal doctor to get feedback from them. And they told him that they preferred him not to rush right into doing a C-section. So, basically, let me... Um, they, the goal is for me to be pregnant as long as possible. So, they're just going to keep monitoring him. They gave me the second dosage of the beta shot for the um, steroids to strengthen his lungs. So, I got that second shot today. Um, and it's pretty much just the waiting game to see how baby does. To see um, if his heartbeat is stable. So he's currently stable. They haven't really had to adjust my monitor too much today. Um, his heartbeat hasn't dipped any today as it did like last throughout the night last night. So he's doing pretty good. Um, so yeah, they want him to stay in my belly, stay attached to my placenta as long as possible to get as much nutrients from it as he can before it fully goes out. But they're not going to let me leave, so I have to stay here pretty much until I deliver him. Um, so I will keep y'all updated on everything. That's all I know for now. My doctor comes in tomorrow to talk to us. So today is going to be the day that he's going to be delivered because um, they ran an ultrasound today. They were just going to monitor him until Monday. But my doctor came in and did an ultrasound himself on him and... Um, there's no fluid surrounding him. His fluids, the fluids are really low. Um, so he wants to take him out right away. Um, he will be a preemie, so he will have to stay into, in the NICU unit, uh, for a couple of weeks. But we are, of course, praying for the best, staying in positive spirits. And we are currently waiting for him to come and get us to take us to the bank. So I will keep y'all. All right, y'all. So this is the update. We are about to go into the C-section in about an hour. And baby is getting suited up. He's getting ready to go to the surgery room. He had to have shoe covering. You can take it back to the shipyard. Oh, Lord. Until we get ready. <laughs> Until we ready to go. <laughs> yeah. So. Chicken, chicken burger. Man, man. <laughs> I appreciate all y'all for showing support and love to my baby, man. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Oh. Boy, take a your love and your energy. Perhaps it was a way that you smile. I see you, boy. Oh, I need you, boy. Yeah, cause I